Welcome to my another tutorial. In this tutorial we will bind some of the keyboard buttons and we will finally compile it into .exe. So to bind, we will bind uh, this Ajax function with the return button self.master.bind return function name Ajax and add to cart. So, we'll bind this up button to add to cart. Space to generate build. Mm, it's all small, so it's not abused. Self dot generate build. I think it's okay. Let's test this. Okay, one. Yes, it is working. One up arrow. It is working. Two enter. One up arrow, and the space. Okay, it is working. It's printing. <laughs> so that was it guys. That was for the binding and stuff, making it more efficient. And now the most important thing is to compile it. Since all the binding has been done, now we need to compile this. To compile we need a library called PineStaller. So we'll open the um, open a PowerShell wherever we want. We'll just say pip install installer so this should install pi installer I've already installed this so it says requirement already satisfied if you get like a permission error just open the command prompt with administrative privileges so this will fix that and then I will open PowerShell here and we will say pi installer that's F and the file name that we want to compile which is main.py so the dash f, what it does is actually it will create all that compiled file into a single program, not creating many programs. So it should not take much time. There are many options for pi installer. So any minute now, yes, it is done successfully. So in the dist folder, as you can see, there is a single file which is .exe. The properties it's about around of 7 MB, 7.4 MB. We'll run this. This is a .exe, it will show command line. We can delete this as well, but we won't for right now. Yes, as you can see, this is our fully compiled application. But we have not included database because our other programs use database as well. For example, this you know add to db or update also you utilize database so we are not moving database anyway so we uh, we will just cut this and paste it over here delete this and we'll compile the rest add to database sorry I installer dash f add to db.py Punch order this app add to db. No, hi. Okay, I think there was a problem. We will just delete this and redo it. I installer this app. Add to db.py. It should work. Any seconds now? Yes, it is successful now. So there is add to db, which is .exe as well. So it will utilize the same database, so you don't need to worry about that. It will take quite time to load though, but it is worth it.
yes as you can see this is our add to database similarly we will compile the rest as well which is update so we will do cls py installer .py. so we will compile this update.py file it's a pretty simple command okay done so we'll cut this and paste it here and we'll run this .exe file so it will take time okay we'll press one search and it's working so we will now finally what we will do is we will separate source code which is this this and this to the compiled version update mini net database so this is well managed now we don't need this and it will work we'll delete this build we'll delete distribution we need invoice and this is our compiled version we can use from .exe and we can distribute it to friends or you can not not friends actually you can distribute it to small stores although it is not that quite efficient but it is to it is for the learning purpose so it's quite good so that was it guys thanks for watching my whole tutorial series this is the end of this tutorial series but i have already finished making a django tutorial series all i need to do is add some voice if you want if you don't want then i can simply upload that django series as well so thanks for watching subscribe to my channel stay tuned for my next series